Hey, what's up people? Orfish here. Welcome to another episode of this playthrough. Let's hope this one will go better than the last one. And uh, let's see where were we. So, uh, I wanted to explore that artica uh, architect artifact uh, towards that direction. Of course, I'm gonna bring some supplies. Let's try that salad. I mean, I have a few frozen peepers. I'm gonna eat them. Vital signs stabilizing. First aid kits are welcome. I'm gonna bring one more of these and I'm gonna craft more beacons. map the environment better. First, before we start moving, let's enjoy this place here a bit and let's read a bit from the um, from the PDAs that I've gathered uh, in the Pi base. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam? I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Okay, so Kara once again was a thing here. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um... What am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. <sighs> if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. By the way, Sam and Zeta, Zeta, is it? Uh, they were. They had uh, their own rooms. Oh, hey, Parvin. Inside Can of Pi. Sign Oops. off. Have, uh, have I missed this one? I think I have. Um, two of them had their quarters inside of Pi Base. Hey, Sam. 
Oh, hey there, Pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. What? Spy Penguin long, log number one. The spy penguins are creating so many new research opportunities. They're perfect for exploring tight spaces and squeezing into little pockets, hiding lots of resources. The penguins can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seems to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. So, this is exactly a hint uh, as to how you can get the Snowstalker fur. So, you need to get a robot near it and then extract the fur in some way. Thumper batteries. I'm speaking on behalf of the entire mining crew, day in and day out, we are risking our lives in this cursed, te cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about these ice worms. We lost a solid fifth of the crew before Al Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttle off the planet. Marcus was supposed to retire after this job, instead he was Skewered by an uh, skewered by an ice worm. Have you even seen someone get skewered by an ice worm? These sampers that the company developed are just stopgap solution. They do a great job of distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Would it be possible to send us additional replace repairs re uh, <laughs> Replacement batteries. A little more juice go a long way. Respectfully, Omar and Delta crew. So, this is a clue as to how can I defend or myself from the ice worms, or at least distract them for some time. Tunnels. I love hate. Uh, I love and hate exploring these tunnels. They're marvels to the power of these ice worms. The sheer amount of ice they are able to cut through in moments takes us a couple of days. Their tunneling mechanism is ruthlessly efficient. Altera could only dream of having this sort of mining capability. The ice worms uncover mineral rich pockets as they tunnel, but going beneath the surface is so risky. We have lost so many already, I don't understand why we have to stay this particular area, area of the glacier. I can't wait to get out of this hellhole. Ice hole? Whatever. Hope you're enjoying the relative calm at Coppa. So, it looks like the ice worm destroyed the Pi, pi uh, robotics facility. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and... You I... investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it. And I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. 
Okay, I've scanned the uh, Zeta's personal ID at the entrance to her room. Senior scientist robotics reports the manual. Everybody reports the manual, of course. Current project oversight of all robotics project. Okay. Let's see the maps. This is the glacial basin map. Uh, so I guess I entered here. Here is the Pi Robotics facility, and I started exploring in different directions. Mm, I tried getting up to here, but I failed going any further. There are also some cave systems here, uh, so you can take a detour. So. I've been both here and here, but um, I couldn't go any further because of the inhospitable environment. I need the suit. The T in team. Practicing mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a spon sponge just waiting to soak up the energy you're bringing into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing, warm and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. That is the power of mindfulness in leadership, which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, let's explore another element of leadership that often goes overlook overlooked. Stepping time. Once you've poured yourself your healing magic over your team, you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environment and become fragrant and fully realized. There is power in healing leader and in a healing leader, but be patient, healing leader is unstoppable, so this is nothing. Uh, nothing too fancy. Let's see about the Mercury. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky, I had just clipped into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me along. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. Power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Ryan's belt, it looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. 
I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Eh, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Alright, so the Mercury was shut down by the quarantine enforcement platform from the first Subnautica, and it barely managed to escape the complete disaster of being utterly destroyed. Orion's belt, this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Alright, so... The ship was in a condition to take off, though they were doubting that it can be possible. And they, I guess, attempted it. And they had to left leave some people behind who were infected with Kara somewhere in the tunnels I guess up there where I was in the last episode but this happened yeah a long time ago apparently we need to get off this planet I mean the morning started off so well I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans and we were all in high spirits I mean who wouldn't be these structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by something. They died screaming, alone in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I, I refuse. Some of the animals on this planet, they look sick too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but. Those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We, we can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. So the Alan was sending SOS signals even back then. He's much older. I mean, his story is much older than the Altero ones. My instincts are never Altero wrong. One. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? 
<laughs> Orion's belt. I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more sold transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Nothing important here. Let's see the news. Aurora wreckage located. Survivors confirmed. Ar Altera has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from the train ship Sunbeam, which was passing nearby when it detected their SOS. Hey Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. Looks like they took static. I mean, that was noise, yeah, survivors. We're moving in for a closer look. While the number of survivors is not yet known, nor the true state of the ship, it is not known that she has landed with her hull integrity la largely intact on the planet 4546B. Smaller than Earth and la largely water bound, it's uh, thought the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around. The Sunbeam is registered as a five-seater cargo vessel, insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure sh shareholders at home that their investment is secure. Yeah, right, secure. There is at least one more delay on transmissions from that region in s of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built uh, rocket which could be constructed using materials salvaged from the Aurora, I guess that's Neptune, and the planet itself. If the crew could begin their long journey home and the rescue teams could meet them halfway, Shaving months of their return, Altera share prices rose to their quarterly high on the news. Was unexplained ion signature linked to Aurora's disappearance? An unusual ion signature on the edge of Altera space has scientists baffled, and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the Aurora reported crash landing. How the two might be connected is an open question and many in the scientific community maintain they are unrelated and explained by natural phenomena or even Altera secretly testing new technologies. Fuel has been added by uh, to the fire by Altera's refusal to release its full data on Aurora accident and recent indications from sources that they will be revising up their list of expected casualties without revealing where this information is coming from. It has now been months since the sunbeam went quiet with no new information. The salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546B. Um, you won't hear from Sunbeam ever again. Alright, uh, now that let's see this new tech. I'll need the Snow Fox Hover Pad. The Hover Pad is a deployable pad equipped with two articulated arms for rapid Snow Fox assembly and repair. Recharge via magnetic to thermal energy conversion, most commonly used for land based operations in a low to medium gravity. Right, and the Snow Fox is a one-person hover bike designed for fast traversal of a wide variety of terrain. I've, I've read about this before, yes, I have. Okay, equipment, right. I won't waste any more time, I hope this was fun, at least for some of you. We're slowly slowly advancing all three main storylines the Allens, the Mercury and the Altera if the Mercury is... no, it's a side story, but never mind let's drink some water and 
in this time. I mean, I have it in the sea truck. Yeah, I have the propulsion cannon. Let's first unload these. Okay, this will have to go here. Some more food and water here. There is not enough space. Okay, we'll place it back there. Right. Let's see where Alan has sent us. Poor people. I'm responsible for so many fish deaths in this game. More so than I have been in Subnautica. But the fish density here is much greater, I think. Beacon for Margaret's greenhouse. I'll change this to red for the green. And I've also placed the beacon regarding the snow stalker where I met him. And Margaret's greenhouse will be blue. And I'm gonna. gonna make the mainland beacons a different color uh, let's say yellow so so okay squid shark cave also is blue delta station dock uh, that's a built-in beacon I'm gonna not gonna change the name of that one mainland access yeah I'm gonna make it yellow all right. And again, we're moving towards the same direction. Somewhere near the lily pads, apparently. close, I guess. It's somewhere under these vents. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Not to worry. I'm always on alert. How could I have missed this cave? It's strange. this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint.
fossil excavator. It's always nice to find iron cubes around these things. Now let's see if there's some interesting materials here. No. Nothing here. There actually really is not nothing important here except what is this? Oh, let's grab a few lithium, why not? I mean lots of lithium. Docking module fragment. How could I have missed that? I never guessed there is a cave underneath the... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, another jump scare. Like this exploded so... So fast and violently. so this periodically explodes I'm gonna explore this cavern more but this doesn't deal any any damage any particularly worrying damage so I jump for nothing let's take the sea truck deeper hope I'll get more docking bay modules. Wow. And there's my spiral plant. I could have also picked it up here, so it's not unique inside that wind garden. This descends right down to the crystal cavern. Oh my god. And time to encounter a shadow leviathan once again. I'm not sure if I want to do that. But what I do want to do... Is place another beacon here. Torpedo arm, that's new.
This space is too narrow for the Shadow Leviathan to navigate, so I guess I'm safe, at least in this part of the cavern. Okay, I've got another blueprint. Now down there, I would be afraid to go. Take the truck a bit deeper. something I'm gonna make this prime for departure what am I doing here what am I doing here There it is. It doesn't seem to attack the sea truck, which is okay. you since uh, you already hit me. Come here. my luck any further. It's actually beautiful. Kinda cute. But it attacks immediately and attacks fast. And since it went away, I'm gonna grab more of these. I'm gonna grab more of these. I'm gonna drink some water. And perhaps even more of these. No, it came back. I 
But I really do want to see if there's some cool blueprint down there. And as long as it doesn't attack my sea truck, I really don't care. If it will chase me around, I'll find my... I'll find a way to avoid it. But the Leviathans here are too, too fast. avoid it Still. But this place is so rich in all kinds of stuff. The magnetite, that is what I need. For the snow fox. Have I scanned this already? Yeah, I have. It would be a good time to head back now. Hopefully not stumbling into the creature. Drop the chase already. Good. It's maneuverable. It knows how to find its way around. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Magnetite I need for the snow fox. Maybe I should pin it. I don't know if sea monkeys generate resources f uh, out of nothing or they actually need to grab it somewhere. I need two magnetite. Okay, I'm not going away from here until I get more magnetite. Now. Should the creature grab me, I'll just use the the perimeter defense. Maybe 
maybe there's some magnetite up here where it's safer but maybe there isn't maybe there is some somewhere up there where it's much safer and I haven't picked that up but I guess I'm relatively safe inside of this vehicle possible that there is nothing of great importance here or I just haven't found my way to that particular objective and there is some magnetite Okay, this place is not as dangerous as I thought it would be. But the magnetite apparently is the most rare resource that I have found in this game heck even the kyanite is more available at least here I mean the kyanite is all the crystals in this environment are confusing my senses and yet I feel certain there is something important below a facility or a body component perhaps both I cannot tell. So he's hinting us that we should go even further below. Maybe we should. This is like an um, inactive lava zone. And there is the active lava zone. Both being home to these beasts. So strange that there is no Leviathan in this part of the cave should I really go down there oh well since I'm already here I'm gonna try and find my way even deeper let's pick a bit of nickel ore some more kyanite some more magnetite of course more nickel ore what is this more nickel ore. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not gonna crowd my storage further warning 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That's exactly what I needed. I'm gonna drown. Yeah, I'm gonna drown. And I lost some belongings. <laughs> I lost all the magnetite. So hopefully it was in this general direction. There it is. So there is one way to avoid a certain bite and I've just found it. Where's the truck? Oh yeah. Peepers, peepers, peepers everywhere. somewhere is the way which leads even deeper Brown suit there, but let's see. Oh, so these are the large kyanite deposits gold, nickel. these resources I mean I can't extract them for sure but okay so this is a major gold mine and nothing else here
Let's see if there's some other descent deeper. I haven't looked upward. No, there is nothing special there. This fisher. Is it the same? It probably is. Oh yeah, I already had that egg. the beacon to the entrance to these caves at the entrance to these caves so that I can navigate my way around now this is something new can I scan these formations? Clips plant. It can't be sampled. A large crystal formation came. Okay. Let's go this way. Sudden, I'm in the end game, I guess, and I'm stuck. Jesus, this goes even deeper, and there is another. substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. It's not coming back, apparently. Oh, 
Oh, it really is. But there is my facility. Let's see, should I eat a bit? Let's eat a few peepers. There's no music. Where's the music? Um. Okay. I'm gonna grab some water. And I'll grab this propulsion can just in case. facility where we will construct my next form. We must first locate all the necessary components. You should focus on that. You didn't even know what this place was, but you're telling me what to focus on? I am trying to encourage you. So we we'll have to come down here later. Yeah, I ventured here too soon. Which is something that doesn't come as a surprise, does it, does it? But let's see. If there's anything else here. a beacon here Facility Fabricator. Okay. Let's search around a bit. Maybe there is some interesting materials to be had. Nah, this place is mainly empty. Except there is more kyanite. <laughs> you will drop this chase. It's 
like playing hide and seek. But it's amazing how well can they squeeze in between these. And apparently they've improved the collision detection of the Leviathans to make this possible. Ghost or Reaper would fall through the ground. I mean through the sea floor long time ago. There really is nothing special here. Except... Nope. Anyways. There really is nothing special here except for that advanced fabricator. But we'll use that later. Much later, I think. It's kind of weird that they made this perimeter defense thing available. I mean, right from the start. Yeah, I picked it up along the way, but it was hard to miss, I think. As I remember, so it makes this chase here all that less dangerous is there anything that can actually pose a threat to this vehicle now I mean the cholesterol this deals less damage than or the same amount of damage perhaps as the shadow leviathan But it's good to know that all the mechanics in the game are pretty much the same. If the vehicle doesn't move, the Leviathan doesn't attack it, and you have the perimeter defense. This is even better, the Cyclops had a shield, which wasted much of the energy, but this thing wastes a, just a tiny amount, I mean spends just a tiny amount, and it does it immediately makes the creature drop the chase, so I like that even better. Now, where is that beacon? Now, where is the exit from this place? There are more of these vents, I mean, the more of these fissures down there, full of the materials. I guess that last part, which we'll need to craft, requires who knows how many resources. Swimming peacefully. Around these creatures. Do I have all the components for the torpedo arm? Yeah, but not, not like I'm gonna use it.
I think they're patrolling the entire cave. I can't wait to read about them later when I'm safe. I actually found the other exit out of this place. Oh no, it's the same, okay. Let's color this, this one. Okay, so I started diving down there to find more of these docking module fragments and I ended up stumbling upon some resources like magnetite which I will need to create a snow fox and then I found maybe the most important thing in the game That's just how Subnautica works. Now it would be even better if I found more of the fragments here. Is this the one? Yes, it is. And the third one has to be here. Or perhaps even closer to the surface. There it is. Let's see about the materials. Ah, nothing too special except for the lead. The lead is very special in this game. personal private army of sea monkeys and I'm back at this lily pad thing what about those after burner upgrades, I, I haven't yet found them. Horsepower after burner. Hmm. Now it's a bit odd that I have nothing to guide me. But it's time to craft the snow fox. docking bay
and I should venture further into the glacial basin right after I do that so the afterburner would make this trip a bit shorter I guess So I actually don't need that one beacon. See fluid intake. Since the control room is the beacon. Yeah. I'll just remove that one beacon and use it somewhere else. to be back home especially when returning from where we've just been Creature discovered. Oh, one more fish. I mean, one new fish. Here, of course, I leave one water here. And what about the salad? Yeah, I can now move the salad here. Let's leave it like that for now. Thank you. Okay, I already have the diversity of creatures here. I might as well make some here. Fluid intake immediately. Will do. And getting dangerously crowded with resources. That's it. 
That's it, I guess. Fine. More peepers then? Cook the others and compare which one is the most nutritious. Deeper or triops or feather fish or hop fish. Triops. Okay, so the peeper is still <coughs> the most nutritious. Vital signs stabilizing. And there really is no need to keep any of these. But I can cook more peepers. many of these containers I've gathered along the way. Now, let's see, I'm gonna pin the snow fox. That docking bay, what's its name? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I guess it is constructed like this. Okay, so I really don't have any more space. Let's put these posters around for now. I brought so much kyanite. Now, I'm gonna need one magnetite. steel ingot now. By the way, I recycled all the other batteries and I'm gonna take these with me as well. So I have what I need except for the lead and I also wanna see 
how to craft the spy pangling. Another battery, another wiring kit, and another silicon rubber. We have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Okay, and uh, now let's see about that diving suit. And let's create this thumper, which may come handy. But this time I'm gonna craft an additional battery. my other faithful sea monkey busy somewhere I guess I desperately need an entrance maybe here yeah, why not? Let's remove this from here and create it here. At least my base is now symmetrical and this room is no longer a dead end. Right, so a battery. I'm gonna need two more lead. Maybe I have some lead up the stairs. No. That is the only thing that I do not have. Okay. What do I need for the uh, power cell charger? Another advanced wiring kit. Well, better sooner than later. fiber mesh with me. This glass came from I don't know where. Let's at least put all the kyanite in one place. Oh, it's impossible. Okay, so I just need a few more lead. I wanted to create a thumper, did I? 
used by miners and researchers to explore perilous environments. The thumper creates a steady source of noise that might repel unwanted creatures by amplifying collision sound waves. Okay, whatever you say. Now let's see where I can put all the other posters. Here's the vertical one, maybe it could go, I don't know, there, for now, nothing is final, or maybe even here. Another vertical one. Hang in there. Oh, the kitty. I'm gonna put this in the sleeping quarters. There. And the other one, I don't know. The light bulb, oh, such a cool poster. Let it hang here for now. We'll see how this base develops further. So, I now have everything I need except for the lead. Two. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's check the sea monkey if it has some lead. No, I don't need quartz. I mean, it's very cute of you. Oh, you dropped it. Dropped it. I'm a bit short on these two. Did it scare you? It honestly didn't scare me. Perhaps because I feel too safe here. But it's one of those creatures that can really sneak upon you. can tell if something scared me if I rapidly twitch my mouse. It happened a few times in my Leviathan Observatory's videos and also back when I first met Shadow Leviathan. I 
have three lead now, but always take more. Seek fluid intake. That is, if the game wants to cooperate with you. And it just so happens that this game does not want to cooperate with me. Here. That's odd. I mean, I'm near these vents, so it's not that odd. place a glass window on the multi-purpose room oxygen do I need special blueprint for that perhaps that is a thing that I'm going to have to find out too. skies that's a rare thing here seek fluid intake immediately If I read this correctly, correctly, this module should always go to the back. It is the only possible configuration. Welcome aboard, Captain. This thing needs to be powered, I guess. Okay, so the physics engine is working quite well. And uh, now I don't need... ...this. Let's see what what will I need. Wiring kit. All right.
I'm gonna create another ion battery for the snow fox. If it's it's apparently powered by batteries. swimming that's an odd glitch equipment here and that's it I guess all right I'll wrap this up for now if you like this episode uh, hit that like button down below if you want to see more, please subscribe, stay tuned, and see you in the next episode.